Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Biomutant. Today we're going to be looking at the automation and how to get a hang glider, health and damage boosts and a turret to fight alongside you during fights. So if this helps, hit the like button, comment down below, tell me if you're enjoying this game or not. Subscribe if you're new, hit the little notification bell so you get told when my videos go live and when my live streams go live. And follow me on Twitter if you wish to, link is in the video description. So as you're playing through this game, you have a narrator that is talking to you. Your narrator is your automation. It's this little green robot thing that follows you around the map and interacts with you in many, many ways. However, you can get upgrades for him and make him or her, actually, not here to assume gender for them um so for the automation you can get upgrades and that includes the ability to use it as a turret it does minor damage it's not dramatic it's not super overpowered or nothing it's just extra damage during a fight a health and damage booster which boosts both of them by 50 percent and a hand glider now you don't particularly need the hand glider because of the simple fact there's no fall damage in this game However, the hang glider comes in useful because there's some areas that you need to glide to to be able to access it. So, you know, there's some, you know, high up um, highways that you can't get to without jumping off a mountain and gliding down towards it. And all in all, it just makes quality of life a little bit better when you're jumping off mountains. You're not just hitting the floor and splatting. You get to float down, taking the scenery and such things like that. So what do you do to upgrade it? Well, as you are running around the world, occasionally you'll spot somewhere in the distance or off to your side or something this weird looking panda bear looking thing with a lamp standing still looking at you now you have to get to him before he decides to walk away and disappear and once you have all four upgrades unlocked he will still appear but he'll run away straight away whenever you get close to him if you do manage to see him and you do manage to get close enough to him you interact with him and he will put you into like a dream state where you relive a memory from your past this memory is some sort of battle from the past you'll fight a couple of enemies or you'll fight one enemy some of them are easy some of them are really really difficult and i don't know whether winning or losing actually changes the story but it does insinuate that it does however win lose or draw as soon as the battle's over you'll come back to the real world and you'll be offered an upgrade for your automation so which upgrade do you do first i think the hand glider is just a must you know just to have that quality of like be able to glide around experience the world in a very different way to what you've been doing since you started the game or the turret if you just want an extra a little bit of damage or have you know enemies take the aggro away from you to fight your little automation guy it does happen occasionally but most of the time the turret is just a little tiny bit of damage additional to what you're doing in the fight not super important but you know depends on what you want whether you want that or the hang glider the damage boost and health boost are also very important however especially for the health boost you're going to have a lot of health packs available to you so you really don't need that until you're fighting some big 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 bosses that do a lot of damage very quickly and you need that huge boost in terms of you know health to be able to heal back up as quick as possible and i really think you can wait on the damage boost as well because most enemies near the start of the game are not super difficult yeah you might fight them for a lengthy period of time but you know you want to really experience the combat learn how to actually make combos work and mix everything up and just find out what your fighting style is the damage booster does give you a huge damage boost which means you're going to be killing those enemies quicker and you're not really going to learn as much plus like i said you don't really need it at the start of the game it's when you get to big 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 boy enemies which is probably about 10 hours into the game so potentially i think hang glider first then turret then damage boost then health boost that's what i did and i think that's probably the best way to handle your upgrades now once you've went into the mirage and you've spoken to the panda guy and you do the battle and you come out and you select your upgrade i don't think there is a limit on the time where he can reappear because sometimes he takes a while to reappear or i've just not seen him in the world around me and i think one of the upgrades that i did was literally about 20 minutes apart so i did one upgrade and found him again within 20 minutes just randomly and got a second upgrade and like i said once you've done all four upgrades you'll still see him around in the world but you won't be able to interact with him that'll be the end of his usefulness so far i don't know whether they'll ever do anything to make him important again but he will still be around in the world. And that is the video today, guys. I hope it helped. Like button, comment, subscribe, all that stuff if you wish to. Thank you for watching. I have been easy now. You guys have been awesome.